All right, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining me. And we have another show. We have another show. All right, so hopefully you guys are doing good and hopefully everything is well. Big shout out to my members, AJ, um, Devon Hughes, <clears throat> the original Zilla, D. Linton, Rolanda Kadna, Jeremy and Swivy. Massive respect to you guys. You know, I never have a look for nothing coming. No, no. Massive respect to you guys. Thank you very much for this continued support. So we're going to speak about a little bit about um, Mikel Antonio. Just a little bit about Mikel Antonio. So he spoke about, he did an interview with Flow Sports and he spoke about um, his goals for the reggae boys and a few a few other things. So those are the things that we want to speak about. So, but before I get into that, what I want you guys to do is smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first first time no um just remember the golden rule hbo help a brother out help a brother out by hitting the subscribe button help the channel to grow I really really appreciate it and hitting the like button help the, help the video to be seen and the more people see the video the more likely people are going to come onto the video so hbo people help a brother out now let me get straight into it um uh we'll waste more than enough of your time more than enough of your time so let's get into it all right, so on the interview, he was asked a few questions. And his question, the first question was asked is um, about his first goal. And he said, I felt confused, to be fair. There were no fans in the stadium, and it was silent. So I'm like, did I really score or what? Yeah, so he expressed his, his feeling in regards to when he scores the first goal and the things that was running through his mind. Because, you know, we played that game. Um, was it the El Salvador game? Yeah, away to El Salvador when there was no fans in the stadium. And obviously, um, it, there was literally no, even no El Salvador fans to help support. So, um, bring across an atmosphere. So, um, the stadium was pretty much dead. And it was like, did I really score? So, he spoke about how, what happened. He said that when he received the ball, his, his first intention was to hold up play. But he, he said um, at the point in time the defender committed. So because the defender committed, he said, let me take this on and bring it to the towards the goal. And when he when doing so, he, he saw that the defender should be on um should be onto his left foot, making it difficult for him. So he said, you know what? I'm going for it. And he just dink the keeper. So that is explained that he explained everything that was when going through his mind at the particular time before the goal. And then after the goal, he said, like when he scored the goal and he and he ran he ran off, it was like um because there was no celebration, no nice. I remember now that he's used to playing in the Premier League where there's fans and there's a lot of nice, the, the atmosphere is good. So he's used to that. So I was really, really wondering if he really scored a goal. And definitely. And he was like, oh, did I really score? <laughs> um, just because there was no fans fans in the stadium. But that was his first goal. Then he, he, he was asked about um, he was asked about the second goal. Um, the second goal is actually a video. I can't show that one. And he said that he literally said that in the video that at that particular particular time he didn't even knew he was so far away from goal. He said he got it on the left foot. He, he, he brought it into he brought it onto his, his right foot. Um, he saw that it, 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 the, his body position was opened and he defeat, he beat the he beat the defender. And he said he he just whipped it. And he so when he smacked it, he actually <laughs> when he hold up his he's like oh my god. When he held up his head, it was like, oh my God, I'm this far out. But when he saw that hit, hit the back of the net, he said that everything came to light. And he said literally what everyone is feeling, that it looks a lot better on the replay. <laughs> he said that it looked a lot better on the replay. So that was quite um, assuring of him. But the, the main part in that, he said, it was that he was really, really surprised how far away from the goal he was. And uh, possibly that's one of his... This, the longest goal in, in in range i believe that's possible um so no he, he was asked about the training what was the difference between training with the reggae boys and training at west ham he said it was different everything is completely different to what we do to what we do at west ham he said um the tactics and the shape the instructions everything that was given it was totally different but he said it seems as if it's working now because um there are like um four goals four games 
unbeaten. I think it's four games unbeaten. Yeah, I believe it's four games unbeaten. Um, two draws and one win. Three draws and one win. So, yeah, he believes that it's working now. So, that's off to him. Um, I think that covers. That covers it. Yeah, I do. That covers it. So, um, guys, he's really excited. You guys can go and check out the interview on Sportsmax. It was a very good interview. Short, but spicy. A lot of information to take away from it. Um, he will be playing against Chelsea, I believe Chelsea this weekend. So show your support, <laughs> show your support as I will be doing the same. Um, so guys, thank you very much um, for joining again. Um, this has been definitely another short one. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Um, Military Guna TV people, like, share, subscribe. I am out.